Hey everyone, we're back. My name is Miss Scarlet and we're playing some Xenosaga Episode 3. I'm starting to remember this now, because I did, when I originally played this game in high school, I did a lot of my, um, that's a really good, that's a really good thumbnail right there. Um, a lot of my, um, grinding and all of my stuff going back and forth between this area, because you have to, if, to get back to the Elsa to do things like Hawk Hawks, uh, you have to go back all the way out of this area. And it is hella annoying. And also, time for some gnosis. So, dun, 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 Oh no, there's all these gnosis. Whatever, will I just kidding? <laughs> time for me to make, time for me to make a complete joke out of the final dungeon. ba dun bum 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 And just done. <laughs> just done. <laughs> it's even worse if I use that attack with Momo. Because every single, like, Momo has an accessory called Heaven's Door equipped to her right now. And it reduces all of MP costs or EP costs to one. So she can do that attack for one MP. <laughs> EP, whatever. It's dumb. It's so dumb. <laughs> So yeah, the rest of this Let's Play is gonna be butter. <laughs> Just butter, laughter, and commentary. Yeah, that's just this is my life now. Butter and commentary. Vegan butter. Some really good vegan butter. <laughs> I eat. Eh, I don't have enough. You! Yay! Yay! Babylon Seeker! Always execute revenge against short attack. Ooh, that sounds cool. Now you can get something called HP vamp. Cha Chaos is a vampire confirmed. Just just because I can, I'm gonna show you again. See, <laughs> I have an end game equipment on Momo. Everything is one MP. So that attack I just used, yeah, it costs one MP now. This entire game has just become my bitch. <laughs> oh, this entire game is my bitch. <laughs> well, I'll be nice when we see those credits. <laughs> Oh, breaking Xenosaga games. It's kind of a, um, what's the word? Yes, I'm eating chocolate. Um, that's what I'm looking for. Tradition? Tradition. It's a tradition for me at this point to completely destroy Xenosaga games. <laughs> Always in the end game, but it's just. It's just a delightful thing that I do at the end of every Xenosaga game and every Let's Play. In particular, 1 and 3, because you can break 1 and 3 much better than you can break 2, from what I remember. Anyway. GG. <laughs> Disengage the shelter barricade? Sure! This is gonna end well. We're almost there. We're almost to the, in my opinion, the most beautiful dungeon in Xenosaga. Which, again, is apt that it's the final dungeon. Also, it's only a couple screens long from what I remember, but I may be wrong there. Hi! How you doing? Time for me to kill you instantly! <laughs> No, 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 no. Always use her to kite for the best. Okay, here we go. Going into the depths. More monsters to kill with Erde Kaiser Sigma! <laughs> By the way, to get Erde Kaiser Sigma, um, you have to do the Erde Kaiser quest. And I did I did a fair bit of it on live stream while I was live streaming some of the side questy bits of Xenosaga 3, just 
for my own sanity. <laughs> um, and it's the it's the last one you get. You get each one of the Erde Kaisers by completing the segment addresses. And then once you get, technically you can challenge Erde Kaiser Sigma because you have to actually fight Erde Kaiser Sigma in a fight to get it. Um, technically you can do it at pretty much any time that you have access to the EBS plate in Padea Cove specifically. But um, you want to get all of the other Erde Kaisers first, honestly, because if you don't, Erdic Kaiser Sigma is damn near impossible to beat. <laughs> but yeah. This entire game is my bitch. Thanks to Momo. Though if I really wanted to be mean, I would put it on Junior, because Junior tends to go first in a fight. And I would just use Junior to spam Erdic Kaiser, but Momo has more magic unlocked, and in case I need to heal or anything, it's kind of nice, because I can just use a full party full heal. <laughs> For one EP! <laughs> ah. I regret nothing. <laughs> oh, oh, pretty lights! <laughs> Best dungeon of the game coming up! What, no voice acting? What is that? The pendant? It's freaking the fuck out! <laughs> It's from there. I can hear a voice calling me from there. Yeah, it's because that shiny goodness over there is made of the same shit that the pendant is. This is gonna end well. But anybody who knows my aesthetic and the kind of game design I tend to like, it's gonna be pretty obvious why I think this is the best looking dungeon in this game. Is it the best dungeon in this game? It's neither here nor there. Is it my favorite? You bet your ass it is! <laughs> Don't tell me what to do, Junior. Do 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 <laughs> this is just gonna be the Erde Kaiser episode, I swear. Just Erde Kaiser episode. Don't worry about it. It's fine. <laughs> this is probably the penultimate episode. Because. Since I have Erde Kaiser, which again, I can only use outside of the ESs, and most of the last couple episodes have just been ESs. So I haven't been able to like show you the power of what I have unlocked, but I fully expect to be done either in one to two episodes. So not this coming, not this one, maybe the next one. It just depends on how short this final dungeon is, and honestly, I cannot remember. But look at it, it's so pretty! <laughs> Underground ruins. Also, I love the music. Dun, 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 dun. Though, now watching it on an emulator, I can see how some of the, like, some of the graphics are a little bit low poly, or a little bit low res, but... Hi! Let me introduce you to my lord and savior, Erde Kaiser. <laughs> Okay, I think I've got it now. <laughs> I think I've got it figured out. <laughs> you gotta have all of them in a very specific way in order to be able to get through to the end. Oh, fuck. Um... I did it wrong. Shit. Okay. See, I have to have that facing the other way, which means I have to be able to come through this way, which is slightly annoying. OK. 
Okay. So. Like that? And I don't fucking know what I'm doing. <laughs> okay, now I think I have it. That took me way too long. <laughs> I don't understand spatial puzzles and I can't see the whole puzzle. <laughs> okay. But no, I have a huge love for like crystal-y, crystal aesthetics. Um, if you watch my Friday streams of Subnautica, you'll know that because I keep going on about wanting to make a base in the crystal area, but I can't because Leviathan keeps trying to kill me. Lissai. Yeah! Because guess what? You're about to get your ass Erde Kazed! Oh, I can't wait to make a joke out of Telos with this. Ooh, nice and pretty. <laughs> nice and pretty snow effects. Alright, here we go. <laughs> this is one of my favorite rooms in the game because guess what? It's time for us to make a joke out of a certain character! What is this place? Don't worry about it. Uh, are you okay, Chief? Maybe you should rest. He's still calling him Chief. <laughs> I'm okay. It's already passed. See? Keep this in mind. Everybody has shown nothing but concern for her. Keep that in mind for something that happens. Um, what is this? A dead end? Junior, look at this. These letters. Yeah, they're the same as the ones we saw in that floating landmass. Momo, can you read it? And the angel answered and said unto the women, Fear not ye. For I know that ye seek Jesus, which was crucified. <laughs> well, good thing he's right there, eh, Chaos? <laughs> he is not here, for he is risen, as he said. That's the only text I can decipher. The rest isn't in my data. Chaos looks over at uh, Cosmos. Uh, <laughs> hmm. should we tell him? This material. Is it crystal? It feels like some sort of crystal and structure. Obviously, just look at it, bruh. This structure has the same composition as Xion's pendant. How do you know that? I detect that? this compound throughout the planet. It's the same as this pendant? In other words, it's definitely not a normal room. But this little room is what Ormus wanted to protect? This is not a dead end. I detect a large energy source from beyond this room. But there's nothing resembling a passage. I mean, there is. It's just closed. Like, bruh, pay attention. <laughs> Like, Jin's right in front of it. What is this? Xion? Someone's calling me. Time for her to pass the fuck out! Hey, Xion, are you okay? You've been looking pretty sick ever since we came to this room. N no Passes the fuck out. Xion. Chief! Time to go talk to Udu! Remember, everybody is concerned. Everybody is concerned about her. Everybody cares about her. Remember that! <laughs> Yes, we're getting very close to the Xion. worst thing Xion does in this game. <sighs> Who is that? It's Udu. Why do you appear before me? Tell me, who are you? Udu! Obviously. Xion. Hi, Abel. <gasps> Abel? Hi, Abel. How you doing? Abel's in her brain. <laughs> this form is what you have defined me as. If you call this form Abel, then I am Abel. Abel is God confirmed. <gasps> You're Udu, aren't you? I am just one of the ways that Udu is perceived. At least we don't have the wibbly wobbly effect going on that causes my emulator to tank FPS. <gasps> Udu wants to know. Know what? About the wills that desire a dissipating world. Everything about you. Everything about this world. I don't know any of that. Xion, are you feeling pain right now? Is pain a method to recognize yourself? Why do you all seek pain? Abel is referred to as the observational terminal of God. He essentially, it's the being that he observes the universe through. I don't know. 
I don't know either. You don't know? I don't know as well. No matter how much you hurt yourselves, no matter how much you hurt others, it won't make you feel better. So why, Xion? Why do you exist in this world? What does your heart try to see in the abyss of despair? Where is the real you? The real me? I'm right here. I don't understand. Where am I? You're about to do something really stupid, Xion. I want to know. What am I? Who will define me? That's right. I'm alone. Only that song heals me. Nephilim. That's right. He is the only one who God heals damn me. damn it, Xion! What I want is... He's the only one who heals me. Only Kevin understands me. I roll. Xion. Are you all right, Xion? Obviously not, Jin. Your sister is dying, bro. I, yeah. I'm okay. No, you're not. She keeps lying through her teeth like this. Like, it ain't obvious she's not okay. Nephilim! Hi, Nephi. Uh. Nephilim? Xion, what you seek lies ahead. If you wish to go forward, you must open the door by your own hands. What? This room was sealed by the will of a woman who was able to call upon the power of God. Mary Magdalene! No, I'm serious. Just wait. <laughs> she did this to prevent what lies ahead from falling into the hands of mankind. If her consciousness does not awaken, you cannot reach the truth that lies ahead. A woman? Who? Someone you know well. Cosmos. <laughs> In the distant past, she laughed and cried together with you. She is your other half. My other half? Now, in order to save this universe, she must awaken. See, now at the 11th hour, they're introducing reincarnation into this shit. <laughs> but this will force you to make a painful choice. Her awakening will erode and chisel away your life. If you were to turn back here, no one would blame you. Everyone knows your pain. My pain? No one knows anything about me. <sighs> Spare me this fucking high school emo bullshit, Xion. No one knows how I feel. I was always alone. Even when I called for help, no one listened. Keep in mind, this is the same bitch. And yes, I'm gonna call her that. This is the same bitch. <laughs> Who every single time somebody's like, are you okay? Are you okay? How can we help you? She's like, I'm fine. I don't need your help. I have no- The only one who listened was Kevin. I have zero sympathy for Xion if that wasn't painfully obvious. That's not true, Xion. Everyone listened. Everyone wants to protect you. You're saying the same thing everyone else is. Yeah. Because that shit's true, dumbass. Then why didn't they save me? They stayed away from me, like I was some kind of a disease. No, they didn't. <laughs> it would have been better to have been denounced or condemned. Xion, please don't lose sight of yourself. She's, don't let his words overcome you. She's projecting her feelings onto everybody else and is doing exactly what Kevin and Wilhelm want her to do. You don't have to worry. I'll open the seal. But it's not for any of you. It's for my own sake. And to take responsibility for what's happened to the universe. God, she's such a selfish asshole. Chief, wait. Why do you torture yourself like this? Move, Alan. This doesn't concern you. Yes, it does. I've always loved... I'm worried about God you. God damn it, Alan! <laughs> You saw what happened. I summoned the Gnosis. I caused the destruction of the universe and everything. That doesn't mean you have to take on everything by yourself. I mean, we, we're all... If we put our heads together, we can find another way. You're so naive. The situation is already far beyond that. Alan, what power do you have? God, you're... God, I want to just throw off a cliff. Can you save me? Can you save my life? I... You don't have any power at all. 
if you can't do anything, then just shut up. God damn, throw her off a cliff already. Chief. Shion, that's going too far. He loves you. <sighs> Chief, do you miss him that badly? Even with your body broken like that, you still have to see him? I've made up my mind. Leave me alone. See, she's like, nobody's made a place for you. Nobody wants me in the same breath. It's like, leave me alone. <laughs> she, are you sure? Yes. No, she's not. God, go fuck yourself, Shion. <laughs> this is... This is that floating landmass. With a little bit of texture glitching and stuff. <laughs> no. It must be some kind of planet. Earth! She's traveled Earth. I think... I see. Maybe... I think there's supposed to be a black and white... It's a memory from when this land was alive. Flashback this thing here, be... but... Lost Jerusalem. Earth! Yeah, it's literally the same place you saw on the floating landmass. Bruh. <laughs> I have to be Shion for a minute, goddammit! <laughs> okay, um... Part of me is thinking, vaguely remembering that this place is all, like, black and white vision Um, when I played this game on the original hardware. And it's not right now because of the settings that I have on my emulator. <laughs> Okay, let's go wake up Mary Magdalene. I mean Cosmos. I mean Mary Magdalene. I mean both. It's complicated. Doop, 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 doop. This will be fine. <laughs> this will be fine. The stones are still new. They look like they were just made. Taking off my jacket, it's a little warm. <gasps> chaos! Hi, Chaos. Uh, chaos. Jesus. <laughs> I don't understand. Why are you here? Since you are here, it must mean that you have come for her. Her? Yes, that's right. Where is she? In this casket? <gasps> Chaos, who is in this casket? Boom, he's gone. <laughs> no way in hell. Chaos. No way in hell is she pushing that casket by herself. Oh, it moves. That must weigh at least a couple tons. What? This is... It's Cosmos. Slash Telos. <laughs> no, wait. She's here. No, oh, she's not. She looks just like Cosmos and Telos. Kevin must have used her as the model when he first built them. Sort of. She's so beautiful. She looks like she's sleeping. Oh, about <gasps> that. Yeah, no, um, he actually used the body of Mary Magdalene for Telos. <laughs> What's happening? It's Jesus! <laughs> Where am I? Another Jesus! Two Jesuses! Isn't that... Chaos? That woman beside him is the woman in the casket. What is this feeling? Is it... Anger? Despair? They never completely explain what the fuck, but the person that she's holding is not Cosmos, it's the sad, um, Chaos. The person that she's holding there is the previous Shion, the previous incarnation of Shion. Previous incarnation of Shion died, and she was very, very sad. Are those... are those tears? Why? Why are you crying? Because your best friend died. You've lost sight of yourself, just like me. You don't know who you are anymore. You don't even know where you stand. 
and you feel alone. I understand. Let's find out together. <laughs> Let's find out together. Right. Except fuck everybody else except me and Kevin. <laughs> Let's try and find out who I am and why you are here. Let's look for the answers together. Cosmos. No. But yeah, the body of Telos is literally literally the body of Mary Magdalene. They put the body out of the casket and turned it into a robot. <laughs> and if Cosmos has the mind and soul of Mary Magdalene Shion. and Telos has the body, then they need to kiss. <sighs> Are you alright, Shion? Chief. I... Can you stand, Shion? She has blue eyes permanently! Yeah, um, Cosmos will have blue eyes for the rest of the game. Cosmos! Perma blue eyes, except for, you know, the very end, but that's complicated. You've awakened, haven't you? Into your real self. You're. Dun dun dun! Mary! Telos! Mary? See, one thing that I didn't actually realize until I did this Let's Play was that the voice actress for Telos and Cosmos is actually the same person. I actually didn't know that because she's so good at doing two different voices. <laughs> Mary Magdalene, my will. You finally awakened. Telos! That is not the vessel in which you are meant to dwell. Surrender and become part of me. Cosmos. I'm about to beat the shit out of you with Erde Kaiser, so... <laughs> I've been recording for 44 minutes. <laughs> Fucking cutscenes, man. Aw, oh, Ziggy, you think you can do anything? This is funny. <laughs> She would actually harm Shion. You kind of need her alive. <laughs> she playing with you, bruh. <laughs> Let's just catch a sword with my knee, okay? She is the partner of the Messiah. My body is Mary's body. Inside of Cosmos sleeps Mary's will. Yep. Essentially what I already explained. Now that Mary's will has awakened within Cosmos, I will take it inside me and complete my resurrection as the true Mary Magdalene. Okay. <laughs> Cosmos is nothing more than a temporary vessel. Mary's will? Mary's resurrection? Wait! What will her resurrection bring about? And what is it that Kevin's trying to do? Do you mean that you don't know? You are the key, Xi'an. You're the maiden of Mary Magdalene. The best friend! Mary's resurrection is what he desires. The convergence of dissipating will. The revival of the soul. That is Mary's duty. No, not really. <laughs> when Mary fulfills her duty, Zarathustra shall speak. And the name, subtitle of the game is also Sprak Zarathustra, which means thus spoke Zarathustra. <laughs> oh, Junior thinks he's helping. <laughs> Very well be the maiden, but interfere and you will regret it. Do you understand? You don't have to be afraid. It's all right. I'm not going to kill you for his sake. Nope. <laughs> Just gonna take it. Fine. <laughs> Are you all right? Shion. Cosmo. 
Xi'an. Right now, I am Mary. And at the same time, I am not Mary. Wasn't it you who said that the heart changes from one moment to the next? Yes, but Telos is trying to make you a part of her. If that happens, then... I don't know what will happen by merging with Telos and becoming the true Mary. I don't know what the fulfillment of that duty will bring. But... <laughs> this is funny. Cosmos is just like, bitch, I am talking? <laughs> I am speaking. Let me finish. I... You dare challenge me, you defective piece of junk? Do you want to be ripped apart like before? Listen, Telos. If your existence will bring harm to my friends in any way, then I will be forced to stop you. <laughs> Cosmos has a personality, finally. It only took three games. <laughs> Are you not entertained? <laughs> so yeah, Cosmos now has a personality and visible emotions. Also, that's the explanation for the um. Why? Why do you and Cosmos have to fight? Shut up, Shion. Nobody likes Maiden you. Who has lost her past? I will awaken all your memories by my hand. Pathetic. Rude. Ow. These are the wrong characters. These are the wrong characters. I'm just gonna. Momo, come here. <laughs> Time for us to beat the shit out of him. <laughs> okay, you know what? Nah, fuck it. We'll keep she on in for one party because she has a bunch of EP and I can just use Urdekaiz as Sigma. <laughs> How many Urdekaiz is it going to take to kill Telos? <laughs> one? Two? Three? Ah, ah, ah. I can, for complete, just bad manners, I can just keep boosting and keep using Urdekaizers. You know what? Fuck it, I'm gonna do that because fuck Telos. <laughs> boss fight? What boss fight? <laughs> This is silly. This is so silly. <laughs> this fight gave me such trouble when I was in high school. Because I didn't bother doing a bunch of the um, end game stuff until after I'd actually finished the game, but... Jesus fuck, look at that! Okay, you know what? Just cuz. Just cuz. Just cause we're gonna have Cosmos do the final <laughs> do the final attack. <laughs> because you know, Cosmos tell us like it is. So that would be three. Three! Three Erde Kaiser Sigmas. Because I'm 90% sure this is gonna kill her. I'm like 99% sure. 99.9. .9. Upgrade that to 100. <laughs> Get fucked. I'm impressed. You could push me this far. <laughs> Get fucked. <laughs> Three Rene Kaiser Sigmas. Boss fight done. <laughs> oh god, what have I done? <laughs> boss fight? What I boss see. fight? So it's not just your appearance that has changed. Fine. But I am afraid that won't be enough to stop me! Cosmos! Do not worry, Xi'an. But that... that attack will... You are the one who designed this body, and it will take... more than Telos to defeat me. Shut up, you mechanical doll. 
disappear from the face of this world. Um, you're both mechanical dolls, even though there's more organic parts than Telos, theoretically, because it was made using Mary Magdalene's body. Bruh. Cosmos is half Erde Kaiser, because remember they used parts from Erde Kaiser to remake Cosmos' body? it with one hand? <laughs> you haven't got the best of me. Hardly. This is far from my true power! <laughs> you underestimate my power! Please, please stand back. Cosmos. Oh. Cosmos has her own face transfer cannon in her boobs! Whose boob power shall succeed? Rip. <laughs> I'm sorry, Telos. But this is good. Morning. You are not sorry, don't you bullshit me. <laughs> Rip. She's resonating with Telos. Be careful. We don't know what will happen next. Cosmos. Absolutely nothing. Honestly, absolutely nothing. <laughs> I wish they- because you have alternate costumes like the swimsuits you can equip for battle. I wish they had one where you could equip Telos' like, outfit. <laughs> for Cosmos, that'd be funny. <laughs> well. Cosmos? Are you alright, Cosmos? Shion. Thank you. There's no need to be concerned. I am fine. Cosmos has a personality, finally! <laughs> Only at the end of the third game. <laughs> okay. That's a lot of bullshit. The moment has finally come. Hi, Kevin. Hi, Wilhelm. Mary Magdalene has awakened. She will leave all consciousness to Zarathustra. All that remains is for her to insert the key. Are you worried? It was not Telos who awoke, but Cosmos. That wasn't part of your script. No, there's no problem. Mary Magdalene and Xion. Everything is in our hands. No, it's not. <laughs> no, it's not. It's really not, bro. <laughs> well, everybody across the entire universe is turning into noses out of nowhere. <laughs> And Abel's Ark has just swallowed McDum. Great. This is gonna end well. Gnosis phenomena is occurring throughout the star cluster? What the hell's going on? I don't know. A warning was being sent from Gedalia to all regions until a moment ago. Now I can't make contact with Gedalia. Can you make contact with other systems? More than 80% of star systems are already unreachable. Captain, some kind of code is moving through the UMN at incredible speed. Could this be the cause? Let me see. That's Lamageta. <gasps> Gasp! The words of God! It's similar, but not the same. It's something else. The universe is failsafe. Chaos has been activated. <laughs> you can tell I'm enjoying this. <gasps> what? What's going on? Gnosis are an incredible number of gnosis are gathering at Nictum. I see. Thanks. The Elsa just reported in. The 
gnosis phenomenon is manifesting throughout the entire star cluster, they've already lost contact with more than 80% of the Federation. What? This planet has restored its original function with my awakening. And that's affecting the gnosis? Yep. Sort of. Yes, Zarathustra is one of the relics of God. <laughs> Finally, Chaos speaks up. He's just been sitting in the sidelines the whole time. Those who worshipped Mary Magdalene brought it with them from lost Jerusalem. God gave Mary a choice, the power to change the form of this universe. But in order to call upon the final power, a key is needed. She has necklace. A key? That pennant you have. He entrusted you with that pennant for this day. Xi'an, he is waiting for you up ahead, but you are still uncertain. If you meet him as you are now, you may lose sight of yourself. Oh, she's absolutely going to, and it's going to be hilarious, and I'm going to yell at her for it. <gasps> Cosmos, I mean, Mary, you were able to recover yourself. What does that feel like? You're right, I'm uncertain. I don't even know where I stand. But that's exactly why I want to see him. Let's go. Kevin is waiting. That's creepy. <laughs> okay. Ray Magdal is finally awakened and Cosmos learned special attack. D Teneritas. <laughs> it's the phase transfer booby cannon. Okay. Why am I you? I should not be you. I was never meant to be you. <laughs> Everything is right with the world. I am Cosmos. I am blue on Cosmos! Ha! <laughs> Okay, that's gonna be it for this video, guys. The next one's probably gonna be the last one, because we're like two-ish rooms away from the end. My name is Miss Scarlet Tanager, and I've been playing some Xenosaga Episode 3. I'll see you all in the next episode.